Hello, my name is Michael Pickett, and you too can learn how to paint in acrylic. Welcome to my show. Now let's start out with the eyes first. We're going to use a black and we're going to fill in the pupil to start out with. And now we're going to outline the rest of the eye. Now that we got the eye outlined, we're going to be adding our color. We're going to be adding blue. Beautiful blue eyes. There we go. Now we're going to add a touch of white in where her eyeball is, alongside of her eye. Now we're going to add a little light in with the color into her iris to bring it out. See how that works? We're going to frame it in. Now we're going to shadow a little bit. There we go. Now we're going to take a little bit of white and we're going to add the reflected light. You see how that makes her eyes sparkle? Ah, oh, she's so pretty. Now we're going to do the other eye. We're going to do it pretty much the same way, except the pupil is cut in half and the iris is in the outer part of the eye. See how that works? That's what an eyeball looks like at an angle. Now we're going to fill in around the eye with our undercoat. 
using white, blue, and black. And we're using our number zero brush. Now we'll work around the other eye. We're going to just be adding in our undercoat. We're using our black and white and a little bit of blue and just framing it in, making the fine hairs around her eye, kind of blending it in as we go. Isn't that looking nice? Well, we're going to work on our nose next. We're going to start out with the nostrils first using black. And get that outlined. Do the other side. We're going to outline the nose. And then we're going to start filling it in. Just a touch of white in with it so you can pretty much see what you're doing. Because working black on black is pretty hard to do. Add a little bit of white on the top for more reflected light. There we go. We're going to lighten it up there around her nose. Do a little more detail and highlights with your white. There we go. Now we're going to put in our undercoats around her nose. That pretty much frames her nose in and kind of sets it in place. See how that works? She's got a beautiful nose. 